So you're looking into a new camera and you're wondering if the Sony a7 III is right for you. On one hand, the camera's been out for a little while now, but on the other hand, you've seen what it can do and you feel like it might be right for you. Let me help. Let's break down the Sony a7 III and see if it's the right camera for you this year. First, the Sony a7 III is an incredible camera that's perfect for both amateurs and professional photographers and filmmakers. I personally bought this camera just a few months ago and absolutely love it. I even took it on a trip to Italy and found the photos and videos to be absolutely fantastic. They were beautiful. The camera features a 24.2 megapixel full frame CMOS sensor that'll capture the highest quality images. It's small because of its mirrorless design, which makes it perfect for travel. And its video capabilities are everything you could ever want. I'll get into this more a little bit later in the video. One of the key strengths of the Sony a7 III is its advanced autofocus system. The camera has 693 phase detection points and 425 contrast detection points. This covers 93% of the frame. So what all these numbers mean? Well, it means that your camera is going to quickly and accurately focus on whatever subject is in your frame, even if it's fast moving. The autofocus system is even capable of tracking moving targets, making this camera really great for things like sports, wildlife, and other action photography. If you're into shooting sports like I am, you're gonna absolutely love this camera. The autofocus system works extremely well when shooting video too. You'll find that it's fantastic for things like vlogging and other on the run type of shoots. Even though the camera was released in 2018, there's no question in my mind that it stands the test of time it can stock up against some of the best cameras of this year in terms of image quality and video capability. One of the standout features of the Sony a7 III is its battery life. The camera can take up to 610 shots on a single charge. This makes it even better for traveling. I could go on a trip and get a full day of shooting both photo and video in and not have to worry about bringing a second battery or charging my battery. It lasted the whole day, sometimes even more than a day. The camera also has dual SD memory card slots that allow you to stock a ton of footage onto these cards. So you won't have to worry about bringing backup and backup and dumping your footage. You can store it in both of these slots and it'll capture continuously. One of my favorite and most used features of this camera, and we talked about it a little already, but it's the video capability. So let's get into that a little bit more. The Sony a7 III can shoot 4K video up to 30 frames per second. It can also shoot full HD 1920 by 1080 at up to 120 frames per second. So this can get you that smooth, buttery, slow motion that looks mm, just nice. Seriously though, the video features are one of the main reasons why I purchased this camera. For the price that the camera comes in at, you're getting some insane features that really, really stand up to the other cameras on the market. The 4K is extremely crisp and the slow-mo features are unbeatable. There's even a built-in intervalometer if you wanna go out and start capturing time lapses with your camera. The Sony a7 III has a five axis image stabilization system that helps reduce blur and motion in your images. This makes it way easier to take photos in low light situations. The stabilization also works great for video, allowing you to get handheld shots that look really smooth as though you were shooting on a tripod or a steady cam. They really make it nice again for traveling and on the go filmmaking. I found this all particularly useful for traveling. Again, I could just bust the camera out and start filming without having to worry about any other pieces of gear. I also found that because of the image stabilization, I could take photos in low light that didn't have a lot of grain. They looked ex extremely nice for, uh, for a low light situation. One of the most underrated features about the Sony a7 III is that it uses an E-mount for its lenses. Now the E-mount is a classic mount for Sony cameras. It's also one of the most popular mount systems out there. 
There is a huge range of lens options that come with an E-mount, so your camera can have a ton of choices, whether it's wide lens, telephoto, or something specialized like a tilt shift lens. Whether you want your camera for shooting portraits, landscapes, something totally different, the Sony a7 III will absolutely be able to do it. I personally grabbed a Tamron 28-70 f2.8 lens that I've been using all over the place. It's extremely reasonably priced, fits with the E-mount, has been super useful in my travels using this camera. I also grabbed a 14 millimeter uh, Sony lens that was a little bit more expensive but allowed me to get some of those wider shots. So you really do have a range of choices. Doesn't just have to be a Sony lens. Any of these companies that create E-mount lenses will work on your camera. So you're gonna have a choice based on what price range you wanna go with for your lenses. You can start low and build up a catalog of lenses and then get some of the higher price Sony G Master lenses that are a little bit of a crisper glass. Another advantage of the Sony a7 III is its durable and weather sealed design. The camera's made from a high quality magnesium alloy. It's not going to have any issues if you're out in the rain for a little while with it. It really is a fantastic, nice little camera design. Again, both lightweight, which makes it easy for travel, but durable, so it can take a little bit of rough and tumble use. I absolutely think that the Sony a7 III is worth purchasing today. Though it's a few years old, it still stands up to other cameras on the market. The images are extremely high quality. The video capabilities are still at the top of their game. This camera is competing with the latest and greatest. And most importantly, it comes in at an affordable price. The Sony a7 III can be found anywhere from $1,500 to $2,000, which is unbelievable for the features that you're getting. Again, you're getting that 24.2 megapixel full frame sensor. You're getting some really, really high quality video with 4K 30 frames and full HD 120 frames for that real nice smooth slow motion. And the low light performance that this camera offers really is unmatched by many other cameras on the market. If you were looking at Canon or some other companies for these same features, you're gonna absolutely be looking at double the price. I think this camera is a perfect fit for both beginners and professionals. So if you have any questions about the Sony a7 III, leave a comment down below. Let me know what it is you wanna know, whether you think it's the right camera for you, I'm happy to help you out. Go ahead and leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll be back in the next one.